of constitution amendment bills by each house of the Oireachtas. Included in the list is the proposed referendum on extending the franchise of presidential elections to Irish citizens resident outside the state, uh, which is intended to, to be, will be held um, on the date of the local and European elections at the end of May 2019. Against this background, my department will, in consultation with the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, bring forward an appropriate constitution amendment bill on extending the franchise at presidential elections to Irish citizens resident outside the state in good time for the holding of the proposed referendum at the end of May next year. Okay, thanks, Minister. Senator, do you want to ask a very, very briefly, Les Carley, and can I thank the Minister for me? Uh, he won't be surprised to hear that the last two paragraphs are the key uh, ones, and, and they are indeed, uh, they usually are in my experience, all right. Um, and the, the, the uh, detail contained there, uh, Minister, is very important. Uh, and I think what you'll find, and you're right to acknowledge Senator Lawless uh, and his work with other organisations, uh, I have myself have majored on this issue since coming into the Senate um, uh, as well. Um, and, and I think what you'll have found uh, in that uh, experience has been a, a willingness to work uh, collaboratively um, to try uh, and ensure that this is done uh, speedily, but it is done right. Um, so I think within the context, because we have heard uh, understandably over the course of all of the contributions uh, in relation to this matter, that the work is going on by officials, and I wish them well in that, those endeavours, um, because we do need to get this right. But, Minister, I think it's important as we come to the stage where we hope to bring uh, that legislation uh, to the Houses, um, that we have maybe one last round uh, of engagement with those civic uh, and representative uh, organisations, whether it's people in the North or people uh, amongst the, the diaspora. So perhaps through myself and uh, uh, Sander Lawless, while they're over the summer recess or shortly after, we'll get the opportunity to talk to you uh, and your officials uh, on that. Gurum Wagat, Las Thanks, Senator. Yeah, just Mr. briefly in response, there, I, I, no problem taking you up on that offer at all. Um, there has been a number, this is one of those issues that's rumbled on for a number of years, and there has been a, a several meetings. Myself and Minister Cannon met just last week. Um, this was like this, this um, commencement is very timely. And there has been a general acceptance in the considerations prior, uh, in, including the forum, but also prior to the forum, there was the possibility of a time, frame, time limit being put on citizens that you know, they would have the right to vote if they had lived in the state within the previous five years or whatever. Um, and it was just felt that that was too messy. How would, how would, you, how would it be policed? Um, and if people have, are Irish citizens and have an Irish passport. But there, there, there are still other complicating factors. Um, and I've met with a number of the groups, particularly in London and, and Britain, over the last few years. There's also the issue of voting centres. Uh, where will they be held? In many countries, it's, it's consulates and embassies. But there's also the possibility of postal voting. So there's a lot of work yet to be trashed out. And myself and Minister Cannon will certainly meet with any member of this house, including yourself, Senator Donald. Um, on this particular issue, because it is going to go to the referendum of the people next year. That's very much the plan of government. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Senator.